try this one more time. What's freaking up everyone? It's been a long time since I've done a sit down video. So I decided that today would be the day. I don't know if this camera setup is really the best. If you don't know me, my name is Jasmine and I make all kind of videos. Um, let me get a little closer so I can see how whack my lashes really are. Oh no, you can see my sweats. <laughs> so I literally just did my hair and I am noticing that it looks a lot brighter on camera than it actually is in person but I'm actually really pumped about it I've been wanting to get it done for a really long time I was actually set to get it done in April right before my birthday I believe it was April 10th so we were supposed to go on a Duffy for my birthday and we were supposed to do all this stuff but obviously that's cancelled now so I saved a lot of money on the Duffy and not getting my hair done twice this year so I usually only do it every six months and I feel like that works for me um, I try and tone it at home because I'm cheap like that. I have my decaf coffee because it's 2 p.m. And if I drink coffee right now, I'm going to be up all night. So let's go ahead and get into the life update chat. Um, so yeah, how has everyone else been doing since COVID? Because I know a lot of people felt like it was very refreshing and some people are like, have been like going crazy. And I think for me... To be honest with you, a lot of my life kind of stayed the same. Um, probably the biggest difference was just the fact that I was no longer seeing people as often. So coming into work made it feel like, oh, this is the only human interaction that I've gotten in the past few weeks or in the past week or so. So that's why sometimes it wasn't so bad to come into work. Um, I thought that at first that I'm going to be honest with you and tell you, like, I really got kind of upset because it was hard to adjust to the fact that everyone was slowing down and, but then at the hospital it was like, we didn't get the chance to like slow down and stop working and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's a lot different, but... I am so thankful that I had a job during the time because that kept me occupied. Um, but for me, I don't think that so much had changed during the time. I felt like a lot of my routines had stayed the same. The biggest issue is I freaking gained a lot of weight during quarantine. So that's why I'm trying to eat a lot healthier now because I'm going, getting back into the gym, getting back into yoga, and I'm just excited to kind of adjust back to normal, although normal will never be what it used to be. I also have my water. Also, if you want to see the before and after picture, okay. This is when I had went to like one of the protests. <laughs> my hair looks so bad. And then this is after. And it looks really cute. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it was very expensive. So it's like kind of my post- or my birthday present to myself, so, yeah. Um, so if you watched my productive vlog that I posted, um, I talked a little bit about looking into a master's program, and although I was initially set, let me just backtrack and tell you. So I was actually initially set to start my master's program July 6th um, at one of so I was actually set to do my master's program at my alma mater where I did my BSN program and obviously that's going to be a lot easier because they have my transcripts and it's very easy to like access um but I it was not an NP program so what I was planning to do was do the MSN program which is just called an advanced generalist program and do that for, they said it's like 20 months, which is like a little bit less than two years. And then just bridge to get a postmaster certification. Um, 
in terms of trying to get things done fast i think that's a good option and i think that was where my mind was at again because it's always like that if you know why i went to west coast you know it's because of the fact that i want to get things done fast i work in the freaking er and i'm always like go 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 and that's just how my personality always has been but i listened to this one podcast it was by um selfie c-e-l-l-f-i-e -E. and i after listening to that and um essentially they were just talking about it's really important to choose a school that you want to that you trust and you really are proud of like going to and you're going to be happy with and just do your research and for me i didn't think that i was doing that because i just wanted to jump right in because if you don't know i am this will be july will be my ninth month of working as an rn and it's it's crazy to think but i still don't think i'm i'm not so uncomfortable where i cry to and from work like when i first started on my own i remember probably i started on my own in january and from january to like february i would just i wouldn't wear makeup on my way to work because i would literally cry <laughs> i would literally cry on my way to work and then my makeup would be like off by the time I come back from work because I'd be crying from my shift and I'd just be like talking and ranting to Alex in the car. But I don't know if it's necessarily COVID and everything slowing down and all that that really made me feel a lot better because around like March is when I started feeling like, okay, I think I can kind of do this. And then right now, after eight months, eight and a few days, months, whatever, um, I'm feeling like there's still so much I don't know and I'm not nearly as good as obviously the other nurses who have been there forever but I think that right now I think I'm like able to keep up for the most part I'm still obviously super new and I've only been working at this facility for nine months in comparison to some new grads who have worked like four years and they know the the people a lot better and then when they transition it's a lot easier but i think for someone who's like 23 and like nearly no experience it's i wouldn't say manageable but i would say it's like kind of doable i think it's like different and it's hard but i I think there's still a lot for me to learn and that's kind of why okay there's a point to the story the point was i didn't feel that i was ready to go into my msn program just yet because there's so so much that i haven't learned on the floor um i do think that i i agree that you need some sort of experience to go on to your man's master's program because even now looking at it in like nine months of nursing experience i am still kind of like flip-flopping between which specialties i want to do and i'll go into that a little bit um so the programs i've been looking at i've been looking at mostly the fnp programs because i feel like that's a very good base and i my base thing is although there's so much to learn at the hospital i don't want to be working at the hospital forever and I think it's, I think people really love the hospital because you can make decent money and you only work three days a week. But um, I don't know if it's just because I'm on nights, but it's very, very hard for me to adjust. My body isn't adjusting correctly to nights. My body just can't really handle as much of like the labor intensive things that people do. And I don't know if it's just in the ER, but people work so freaking hard. So I don't know how people literally work till they're 60 in the ER or even in bedside nursing in general it's freaking props to you i don't know how you do it god bless your heart I, it's so freaking hard but i do want to work in a clinic and that was always something that i wanted to do um i've always thought about doing masters but the thing i'm flip-flopping between right now is if i really want to do um so it's called Psych psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner which is um, a couple units more than an FNP program. So I'm flip-flopping. I'll give you more details about where my head is at in terms of those programs, probably in a later video, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and why or my time frame for that. 
but no, I was actually, I, I'm still like thinking of starting the master's program, but at the end of the day, I really want to go to a school that I absolutely love and absolutely trust and know that I'll be proud to say that I graduated from there. So that's why I'm holding off on it, although I could start and end super fast and all this kind of stuff, it's just not worth it right now and I think that it's just better for me to wait. Um, but another thing I was considering was when I was in the BSN program, um, I never really, well I never, it's hard for me to say that I regret the program that I stayed in because obviously it got me the job I have now and it's gotten me this far into my whole journey. So I don't hate it. I don't hate where I went. But I just think that with your masters, it's very independent and I think it's important to just, if this is going to be like one of my last degrees I ever got, I just want it to be from some place that I'm really freaking proud of uh, finishing at. So that's my whole rant about me trying to um, essentially get into higher education. And I know people are going to be like bitching at me about how why would you do that if you were just going to be a bedside nurse for only two years, blah blah blah. But honestly, like, I remember even before I had even gotten into a BSN program, I literally had tacked on all of the places I wanted to go for my master's. And although there's only really one place that I really want to go to right now, um, but I've always known that I wanted to go to my master's and I really didn't always want to work at the bedside so that's just where my head's at maybe in a few months that'll change I don't know that's why I really want to give myself myself some time and if I do start I really want to start in fall 2021 I don't want to start in fall 2020 I think that's way too early and I don't think that I'm ready for it yet and I am enjoying my time doing my thing and all that and there's just like so much to learn it's like insane how much people are doing in the er like every day and i don't think that i've one of the biggest things is, is i think that an extra year will do me a lot better because i'll gain a lot more confidence in that aspect because i'll see a lot more i don't know <laughs> but yeah oh my gosh this is super tangled but yeah, um, work's been going okay. I feel like it's kind of, I don't think slow down, but it's just like I've gotten a flow of things and it's not as daunting to come in. That's why I literally I picked up an extra shift tomorrow, even though I'm clearly not supposed to work. But I think it's best when you're new to pick up shifts because they know you're still new and if you're willing to learn and willing to be there, people will teach you. So yeah. But yeah, um, that is the update. I don't know if I like touched on everything that I wanted to talk about. I didn't really have a direction to this video, but I really just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys because I know you guys, it's freaking amazing how um, people have really kept up with my journey and I really want to thank everyone who really has because it's actually freaking insane. And it makes me so happy that people actually care to watch my videos. And I have actually kept up with my journey. So thank you so much if you're one of those people who have been watching me for a while now. Whether that's like when I was back in Riverside and I literally had no idea what I was doing with my life. And I would just go out and get straight C's on my report card and not even flinch. Um, or when I started at West Coast and I literally was all bright eyed and happy. Or when I like cried about how I didn't pass a class so thank you for everyone who has been on this journey I know right now we're at 3,000 subscribers which I think is pretty crazy because when you sit that down in the stadium that's actually a lot of people so thank you so much and I really appreciate all of you um, if you have any other questions or anything shoot me a comment down below I don't feel like I covered that much but I had like a lot to say Maybe it'll come back to me later on. I don't know. But yeah, that's where my focus is at right now. Um, 
and I really want to focus more on my fitness. I feel like it's hard for me to like focus on my well-being and balance everything out, especially at nights. Um, I think a question is like a lot of people ask if I'm going to stay at night forever. Um, to be honest with you, I think if I work in the hospital, I'd much rather work just nights. Or if anything, I would only ever switch to mids. I don't really like the mornings. I think it's like, I don't, so the flow of it is if you're a day shifter, you ease into your shift and then you end with chaos versus night shift, you are, you walk straight into hell and then you walk out and it's like not as bad, or at least we can only hope. Um, but mid shifters are like 12 to 12 and it's like you're on fire the whole time. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't think your assignments, I feel like it's like you don't really fit in with a group of people, but I think it's kind of nicer because you don't have to like, I don't know, have such awful hours, hours like night shift. But I really, if I ever switch to mid shift, I really would like to do a two to two. So if the other two to two ever steps down, I'll take it. <laughs> Cause I'd much rather do two to two than seven to seven. So maybe I'll actually talk to my manager about that because I really like doing like I'm kind of like a night person but not really but it's also like messing up my body physically and I'm not even gonna lie to you like night shift makes you like super depressed because you're just not functioning correctly like last night I slept from I fell asleep around like 8 30 woke up and then at 9 I went back to sleep woke up at 8 a.m and I was like oh my god I slept for more than 10 hours which is insane um, so yeah, and I feel like it made me gain a lot of weight, and maybe you don't see it, but I like feel it. So, yeah, that's why I, it's hard, it's, I don't know how people do it. I seriously freaking applaud you if you've been doing this for so long. It's, it's freaking hard, and like, I'm a really light sleeper, and I live with like six other people, <laughs> and I have to black out my curtains, and like turn on my fans, or my heater, to make white noise so that I don't hear people, and it's really hard with six other people in the house, so that's just where my headspace is at, um, I'm excited to go to yoga later, I'm finally back, it's supposed to be at 3, so I should probably head out pretty soon, but thank you guys so much for watching my videos, I really appreciate I really appreciate every single one of you who's messaged me, subscribed, or even like commented on one of my videos. So thank you so much. And if you don't already follow my social media, it's at Jasmineers on Instagram. I don't really post on Twitter. And then I think my Snapchat is Jasmine underscore Manatee. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.